Hey Team Dias, welcome back to NewsEb Alto. I'm your host with the most, Airman First Class Drake Lehman. As always, we'll dive right into our top news stories of the week, snag an interview for you fathers and your daughters, and finish out with this week's shout out. Sporting our allies is an ongoing mission that helps keep the United States connected with the rest of the world. And to emphasize our penchant for support, Dias recently sent four B-1 aircrew members to showcase our pride and our worldwide military prowess. Senior Airman Kadisha Pennant writes about our recent opportunity to send one of our own B-1s to France to support their 100th anniversary of the Lafayette Escadrille. It gave us the opportunity to reassure our long-standing alliance and friendship with France while sharing the aircraft's capabilities and impact on current operations. Excellence is the standard, and our airmen hold tight to that ideal, so you can practically jot us on down in the Guinness Book of World Records because Dias maintainers are looking to break one in the coming weeks. Airman First Class Quadrati pens the Road to 40 achievement, where the 7th Component Maintenance Squadron seeks to break their previous record of 39 F-101 engines on standby for the B-1 Bravo Lancer. In overcoming the just-getting-it-done mentality, the availability of spare engines eliminates grounding aircraft as often, helping to smooth out training and combat mission frequency. It takes a lot of stellar airmen working diligently around the clock, and a smidgen of luck, to make this critical accolade possible. Keep up the awesome work, airmen. Every week, Dias has more new airmen flooding the Arnold Gate than orcs during the Battle of Helm's Deep. Well, to prepare our new or uh, proud airmen, a few individuals on base put together a program to help them settle in to their new home. Airman First Class Sean White made a video that discusses the Fly Fight Win initiative, which targets brand new enlisted airmen and seeks to inform them of on and off base activities to keep boredom from settling in. Command Chief Master Sergeant Aaron Bennett and Mr. Bob Sayers spearheaded the event, enticing the participants with success strategies fun base activities, and, most importantly, provide personal and interactive conversations between new airmen and our top dog leadership. These stories and many more like them can always be found on our website at dias.af.mil. Hey, dads, you fellows, uh, you know, you do a lot. You make life easier for your spouse and children, and you put in a lot of extra hard work, extra hours on the job, fixing stuff around the house, putting the toilet seat back down. Well, I mean, even changing the oil on your cars, driving the kids to soccer practice, etc. Well, hey, buckle up one more time for a fun break from the monotony of life. The great people on Dias' own Hangar Center are putting on a father-daughter dance so you can tango and waltz and boogie and jitterbug with your little lady. And, uh, well, hopefully not embarrass her in the process. In fact, it's probably a good idea that I'm not a dad myself. Hey Team Dias, I'm here today with Alvina Smith and she's going to tell us a little bit about the upcoming father-daughter dance. What do you have for us, man? Well, we have a father-daughter dance on June 18th. It starts at 5 with a social hour. The dancing kicks off at 6. You're more than welcome to come sign up in advance at the Dias Hangar Center or even give us a call at 696-2405. We're going to bring in the DJ from the Kid Craddock Morning Show. And uh, we're really going to have a lot of fun with a photo booth, some light refreshments, some sweet treats for the little girls. And hopefully we'll see a lot of fathers and daughters make some wonderful memories out there. And this week's video shout out comes from Staff Sergeant Weatherman himself, Bradley Bertram from the 7th Operations Support Squadron. I'd like to give a shout out to the weather flight as well as my friend uh, Staff Sergeant Josh Allen. Got a pal you'd like to commend for all their hard work? Why not send us your remarks to 7BWPA at us.af.mil or shoot us a text and then we'll make sure that they get the message. And with that, this episode of News Abalto is finito. Thanks again for tuning in, Team Dias, and from our hearts to yours, get out of the house and, uh, hey, live a little. But please, stay safe, and we'll see you again next time. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. All our latest stories can be found on dias.af.mil.